Here's a variable transformer and isolation transformer setup which South JK found for retroelectronics. In SPATS, this is just like your superior power stat, except ours goes to 140 volts. Here's the isolation transformer down here, and we've got a voltmeter on here to monitor output voltage. We're checking out this uh, little phono amplifier here. Got one lead on the plate of the 50C5 and one lead on ground. And here's the actual meter we're measuring DC with. Let's see if we've got DC voltage at the plate. Looks like it's good there. Let's check out some other points in the circuit. Now we're measuring power supply voltage at the plate of the 12AV6. I don't know why that decided to shut down. Now it's back on. So it looks like the plate voltage is okay. Let's have to see if there may be something else that's causing the condition of no audio. We're checking cathode voltage at the 50C5 and it's got it. Proper amount, about 8 volts. We may have alligator clip failure. We've observed several cases of alligator clip leads where the wire broke right as you got into the clip. So we're going to try another set of alligator clip leads on the speaker here. Okay, and we found what the problem is. Bad alligator clip leads. We've got some new ones here. And now when the phono cartridge is touched, there's noise. So we, we've seen that before, and I don't know why some of these are so quick to fall apart. Just really, really bad connections somewhere right at the alligator clip.